Well, hello, this is Mr. Milner, Mr. Milner's classroom, the STEM guy, and uh, I'm here to welcome you back to school in the 2021 school year here at Wilson's Mills Elementary. We're doing science a little bit differently this semester, and uh, this is going to be your first training video for how you're going to do science uh, with us, uh, whether you're virtual or face-to-face. And so let me start by showing you a couple of things. Some of you will recognize this uh, from last year. Um, last year, we used to do science in a big notebook like this. Um, this is a big five subject notebook. And um, you probably will not need that uh, this year. You'll probably just need a, a small, thin one, one subject like this. I think on your supply list, we told you, you probably just need this size. And so this is how we did it last year. So here's a, an example of a fourth grade science notebook. And uh, some of you know about this, some of you don't. Uh, we had you take notes in here and we would look at a PowerPoint and then we would give you something to glue on the page and you would fill out some things and then other glue in. and. Maybe you would take scissors and cut this out and watch a video and, and then fill out everything. That's not how we're going to do science first semester because of how difficult it would be to get all those handouts to you. And so uh, you're really not going to need scissors. Um, you, if you want to, you can get some crayons and some pencils, but you don't have to have them. Uh, this semester, at least at this point. Me, I, I love crayons and colored pencils. I've got all mine from last year. And uh, if you want to use those, I'll show you how you can use those if you want to. But really all you're gonna need is a pen or pencil and, and a science notebook. So what I want you to do is get a notebook like this and write science notebook on it. Maybe you put your name right here and uh, I'm not going to ask you to format it like we did last year. By that, I mean numbering all the pages. It's not going to really be necessary. And so you'll just, uh, after you've done the title, you'll just start here on the first page. And so now let me tell you about how you are going to work with this notebook. There's going to be a couple steps in taking this class. Your Google Classroom. Your Google Classroom, I'm gonna have another video on this too. Your Google Classroom will uh, send you to your PowerPoint. The PowerPoints are all self-guided and uh, you'll have a lesson plan where you uh, take a couple of slides a day and we're gonna start with the scientific method and there's gonna be instructions on here for you to read and it'll tell you to link to a video and it'll send you there and you'll watch that maybe. But then you'll have a place here where it says, if, if there's a, a slide that's highlighted, then you're gonna wanna write that down. So take a look at this right here. I'll have a close up for you here in a second, but for right now, I'll just hold this up and then I'll do a close up on the video. And notice it, it, it says here, uh, right on the top, there's an instruction to you. It says, write the highlighted statements in your science notebook. And so that's highlighted and that's highlighted. So here's the word scientific followed by method and then the words, it is a way to solve problems. So you would, you would look at that and then you would take your, your small notebook that says science notebook on it. And you're gonna write scientific method. You're going to look right at it. Make sure you spell the words correctly. And then it says, what is it? I'm going to write, what is it? Question mark. It is a way to solve problems. And that's all that I'm going to write down on that page from this slide right here. And then if my lesson plan calls for me to do the next slide, I'll go ahead 
and I'll advance to the next slide. Notice that the slides are numbered at the bottom. So you're not gonna do but just a couple of slides a day. And some of the slides, you know, you'll have to write a couple of words down. Sometimes you won't have to at all. Like this one, it says, you don't need to take any notes here. Just read it. Just read those things. Now, some of you like to take lots of notes, and if you want to, you can write those things down there. And if you want to use some color pencils and highlight a little bit and make things pretty, that's fine. It's your notebook. For those of you who are coming to school in one of the cohorts, either Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday, Friday, you'll have to bring this with you. Of course, you'll have to have your Chromebook with you. Don't forget your charge cord. And uh, we'll be using these in class on that. Now, if you're doing all virtual, you don't come into school at all, then you'll just keep this at home. And so it doesn't take long to do this every day. We're not trying to make it hard. We're trying to make it easy on you. But be aware of it that you're gonna to have to take a test when you're done with this. And there will be plenty of time for study and review. And we've got some fun reviews in there for you and some games. And so I think you'll enjoy that a lot. Here's the last thing that I wanna tell you before I let you go and show you a couple other things, a couple of close-ups. Um, once you finish this, where you're taking notes, you're handwriting notes, when you finish that, you finish your slides, then you're going to go to your own PowerPoint, not this PowerPoint. You're gonna have your own science PowerPoint, which we will make available to you in your Google Classroom. You'll go in there and you'll make a title page and that's where you can express yourself and make it really neat looking. And then you'll go and create an extra page and we'll make a couple example pages for you. And you will type in whatever you wrote here. But there's one thing extra that I'm gonna ask you to do. You're gonna illustrate. I'm gonna write the word down here. And the instructions on your PowerPoint ask you to do this anyway. You're gonna illustrate that. Maybe, uh, maybe you're gonna go out and you're gonna type in, uh, in a Google search, scientific method, and you find, um, Maybe you find a neat image of that. Maybe it's a test tube or a, a microscope or something. And you're going you're gonna to reach out and get that, and you're going to drop that in your PowerPoint so that, that it looks really neat. Something that says scientific method on it or has a picture that is scientific. And you'll be doing that for every page. Not on this, but in your science PowerPoint. Remember, there is your class PowerPoint, that's already made for you. And then you're going to make your own PowerPoint. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. You'll see. We're going to make that a lot of fun. We'll have. Uh, and by the way, we're, as teachers, we're going to be watching your PowerPoints. We're going to be evaluating them and looking at them. And so you do have to do this. At the end, when we're done with each unit, you'll take a test. There will be a review before you take your test. But once you go to your uh, Google Classroom, and go to your test, you may not use notes. You can't go back and look at this. You can't have this open. Uh, you'll take your test and you need to not cheat on that, okay? So be very careful about that. Okay, that's it for right now. This is Mr. Milner. It's been fun being with you today. We're looking forward to seeing you either online, virtual, or in classroom. And remember, wear your masks, social distancing, six feet. If you're gonna cough, clap into a sleeve, wash your hands, sing happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, usually you do it a couple times. You need about 20 seconds when you wash hands with warm and warm water and soap. And uh, if you're using hand sanitizer that's alcohol based, you don't have to use it quite as long as that. But if you'll do those steps and be safe, we'll defeat this virus. Have a good day, good to see you, and we'll see you on the next video, bye-bye. Well, it all starts right here in Google Classroom. You're gonna find a slide with instructions. Watch out for the highlighting. There'll be instructions at the top of each slide that will tell you what to do uh, for that slide. Sometimes you may need to write some notes, like in this example here. There's a highlighted scientific method right there. You'll need to write that in your notebook with your pen or pencil, and then the definition of that term. So we kind of zoomed in here on this slide and if you'll notice I've already written this in my notebook I've written the term and I've written the very simple uh, definition and I hope that helps a little bit